the Dominican Republic, land of beaches, or as a heavily accented Spanish speaker said, land of bitches. Many of you may be familiar with the all-inclusive resorts at Punta Cuna on the east coast of the Dominican Republic, approximately 205 miles from Puerto Rico. Sure, the golden sand beaches of that place is amazing, and there are always resort organized activities to do there, such as getting intoxicated on a trimaran, party boat, pet dolphins, and drink whiskey in the ocean. But those activities sound far too touristy for me. My vacation spot is the more quiet Puerto Plata on the northern end of the Dominican Republic. Don't get me wrong, there are still plenty of resorts in Puerto Plata, but they are less numerous than those found in Punta Cuna, which results in less tourism. I especially enjoy a place called Coast Sandbar, for its gated community with a small conclave of charming Canadian expats seeking to escape the harsh winters of Canada. You can do various things such as frolicking on the beach, frolic around the golf course, or go on safari by horseback, or simply enjoy the liberal afternoon banter of the Canadian expats while sipping cheap happy hour Cuba Cuba Libre waiting an impending thunderstorm. Did I mention the friendly Canadian expats? Puerto Plata is the ultimate place to chill if you have very little expectations. But Puerto Plata is not built for the disabled or the handicapped. Like a lot of other third world countries, the Dominican Republic lacks basic infrastructure for the free movement of the disabled. The roads are treacherous. The sidewalks are non-existent. And the resorts, at least cheap ones, does not accommodate for those with limited mobility. I was able to do things in the Dominican Republic because of my off-roading electric wheelchair and staying within restricted places. In conclusion, if you are able-bodied, then by all means visit the DR. But if you are disabled, is not fabulously rich, or if you didn't travel with the entourage of able-bodied helpers, and isn't trained to fashion a ramp out of coconut rinds, then Puerto Plata may not be for you. Since I've only been to Putincana once, I cannot speak to the quality of the roads there. But I do know that public transportation is not handicapped accessible. Santo Domingo, the capital, it's much more congested than both Puerto Plata and Punta Cana. But most of all, Santo Domingo lacks the quintessential or what defines the Dominican Republic as the tourist destination, a beach. Therefore, unless the government of the DR makes an effort to not exclude the handicapped from its communities, as exemplified by eliminating the annoying 12-inch steps in front of every shop in the DR and requiring ramps and ADA-like accessibility, I cannot in good conscience recommend a disabled traveler to be. Dangerous.